Hey, yo, we in here. Who we in here with? Alante Banks. Let's get it. All right, let's start this bitch off right. All right, if your if your life was a movie, which movie would it be? It'd be like Mike with Kevin Cambridge. Why? Because I feel Kevin. I feel like in the beginning of the movie, you know, he get these shoes, right? And these shoes he think makes him play like Michael Jordan, right? But by the end of the movie, his shoes end up breaking, right? And he playing the game. He like, bro, I can't play. And they tell him like, bro, it's not the shoes, it's you. So at the end, he takes the shoes off and he still wins the game. And it's like the whole time it was really in his head. It was really about his confidence. So I feel like I relate with that. Shoot. If you have to relate, uh, what are the shoes for you? Shoes for me? Uh, shoes for me? I think it's life. Shoes for me is life. Because I feel like a lot of times people doubt they self and that's what holds them back. Shit. I know you're in college right now, but now I know you have to read. That shit sucks. All right, but uh, I love to read. Man. Uh, I hate college. <laughs> but the only thing I like about college is the woman. That's the only thing I think I say I like. <laughs> but then I can do shit like this and still like engage a little bit. Yeah, for real. So like that's how I think. It. But uh, really, uh, so reading wise, what type of readings? Like, what do you like? Right now, I'm reading the uh, Forty Eight Laws of Power. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a very good book if you're going into business. That's an amazing book. Like that book, uh, I talked about it on one of the uh, last interviews I did. It's really, uh, how far are you into it? I'm far. It really showed, like, Kevin Gates got this one saying, don't let your left hand know what the right hand doing. Like, that shit right there, like, it really taught me that. Like, even with your brothers, like, that could be your blood brother right there. Don't let him know everything you got going on. Then that's when jealousy going to come in, and that's when this going to come in. That's why, like, that's what that book taught me. Uh, what is what it taught you so far? It taught me basically like the fundamentals of power, you know. Like a lot of times people claim to have more pool or more power than they actually have. And that book kind of showed me how to like deteriorate and be more uh, meticulous and just aesthetic with my thinking. Trust me, I know as a motherfucking videographer, nigga, I'm popping this shit. You shouldn't be charging me. I should be charging you to shoot me. You know how much I hear that shit? <laughs> you know how much I hear that shit? Like, come on, that's one reason I think that's how I taught me that shit. But, uh, really, uh, let's say your top movies. Top movies. I don't really watch movies like that, but my top movie will be Roger Rules. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I love that movie. Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Roger Rules. That movie. Why so? Because I, I think the fundamental of having a brotherhood is very uh potent to me. That whole movie was about them coming closer as brothers. So I feel like I like that that concept of it. I fuck with that too. You got brothers in your real life? Yeah. Uh, how, how close are you? How close are you to those? Brothers? I'm very close to my brothers. They're my babies. I damn near raised them. Mm. For sure. All right. Shit. Let's talk about uh family life. Let's talk about like how was your family life? I seen in one you say you got like kind of a, a traumatic like upbringing. So like, yeah. Tell me how that family life was. Uh, see, growing up I was in foster care, so it was like um. It took me a while to adapt to certain environments and stuff. So my family life, I don't fuck with my uh blood family at all. I think they weird and they snakes. I'm going to say straight like that. They weird as fuck. So I stay away from them. Um, But, like, I have a family that adopted me. They treat me good. They do good by me. So I look at them more like family than anything. Sure. Trust me. I know exactly what you're talking about. The dude that started this podcast shit with me, he my blood brother. I ain't going to lie to you. But it's like we say that shit so much. And we don't, like, we rock that shit out so hard, but we say that because it's like, nah, we know real family that we don't fuck with. So I'm like, we really just going with, like, we hey, rocking and like, hey, you you not snaking me out? Hey, you rocking with me? You my brother. Let's go. Yeah. So then really, we just rock out like that. Not for real. So then, shoot. Out of curiosity, uh, how many brothers you got? How many siblings? Uh, my, my father had 13 kids and my mama had two, me and my little brother. Crazy. You know all of them? Yeah. Crazy. Big family. Crazy. Yeah, my daddy See some little motherfuckers y'all got to watch out for. Yeah. <laughs> they run with an army. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like shit talk all oh, this shit, too. I be talking crazy, and people never think of why I be talking crazy, bro. Uh, got 12 brothers, right? Imagine that. Imagine me pull up. look. You say call your brother, and I say which one. And you say call all of them, and it's 14 kids on your front lawn trying to beat your ass. Crazy. Hey, <laughs> got a whole little army. Shit. Let me ask you this. Uh, shoot. What do you think makes you unique? 
I think my view of the world makes me unique because I don't think like most people, and it separates me. Mm. What's your shoot? What's your view of the world? Would you say? I think my view of the world is it is what it is. Like I see shit for what it is. I don't lie. I don't sugarcoat shit. This world is evil, and you gotta learn how to move, or you gonna get ate up. You think the world is evil, or you think the people? I think the people in this world is evil. There's a lot of evil ass people that purvey per- themselves as positive people on the internet. They are in real life, they're fucking terrible people. So oh. I was like, yeah. She preaching! Nigga, preaching! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I ain't gonna lie. The thing that really taught me that shit, I stopped giving a fuck even more about the internet. Oh, she's going out by our first person. Oh, all right, she's smart. All right, nah, we're gonna, uh, I seen it was a, uh, them girls, they be on the internet. I just need a nigga like this. And, uh, bum, bum, and they got shit to their name. No, no, no. I just want something like this. Uh, like, all I do is, look, look, look. I know it's a couple of y'all bitches. All I do is work, sleep, and then go home, and then do it again. Man, be lying. I see him out and about. They they are. Are. Every weekend, every, I see you on four party flyers. You're lying, bro. You're lying. You're outside. Stop lying. I know how that be. That's what I'm saying. That made me stop giving a fuck even more about that. I say, if I was in, in the entertainment industry, like, I wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't have none of that shit. I ain't gonna hold you. I think, honestly, what it is, bro, I'll be knowing all rip. Like, when a girl say, oh, she not outside, I go to our mutuals. Now, if any of the party promoters I know follow you, I'm about to go check in mm-hmm. and ask about you. And then on top of that, I know what girls be outside. So if they follow you, I know you lying. <laughs> and it's like, you ain't got a lot of me. I'll be knowing. That's crazy. It's a small city. I say, just be a hoe. Just be open. Just yeah, be open I like open hoes. I hate secret hoes. Like, I respect you more if you just come up to me and say, no, I'm a hoe. I'm like, oh, great. But if you, like, sit there and try to act like you not like that on a low, it's kind of like, why are you so fake? Just be yourself. I'm a dude. This, this ain't that little dude, like, yeah, dude podcast. Not. Like, no, a woman shouldn't be hoes. No, if you want to be hoes, go be hoes, bitch. Like, I love hoes. Ain't nothing wrong with hoes. Now, I ain't going to wipe no hoes, but I love hoes. Yeah, we're not going to wipe you, like, for sure. Let's get it understood. Like, not going to wipe yeah. you. But live your life. Well, you got life to the fullest, shit. YOLO. All right, just let you know a little segue. That's your camera right over there. Oh, see, I'm looking everywhere but the camera. <laughs> it's great. All right, let me ask you some financial questions real quick. Okay. All right, cool. If you had to flip your last $100, you had to flip it, what would you do? Go buy some Coke. Damn. <laughs> Why? Hold up. So I, could, I know I could flip that. All right, all right. Le- let me rephrase the question. <laughs> <laughs> Legally. <laughs> How would you flip your last one hundred dollars? Okay, well, I would uh find something of value worth trading it in for. So like, there's a lot of things at thrift stores that you can go buy and flip and make more money off of by selling on Amazon or eBay. So if I was going down bad on my down look, I got a hundred dollars. I would uh go to eat uh go to these thrift stores of uh, Salvation Army, find something that I know is worth more value than the money I have, and sell it. Mm. Cause there's a lot of things that you can find at a thrift store that people just give away. Depends on what area you're in. I found a Nike tech at a thrift store one time. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. I got you. Shoot, let's do the um shoot, let's up the game. Your last a thousand dollars, what you doing? My last a thousand dollars. Okay. No drugs. None illegal. No pimping, no no, I see pimping was in your mind. <laughs> thousand dollars. Oh, I got a thousand dollars. I gotta flip this. Okay. I'm thinking, okay. No, nothing illegal. None illegal. Ah. Go behind that camera, my G. Huh? Go behind it. You the best. <laughs> hey, uh, honestly, I think if I had so my nothing. last thousand dollars. You good. If you good. They not going to step in front of these are adults. Uh. If I had uh, my last thousand dollars, how would I flip that without doing anything illegal? Uh, I'd uh buy some shoes and resell them. You buy the shoes? Yeah, I buy some shoes and resell them. You... What I mean by that is use shoes, clean them up, and resell them. Are you a sne- are you a clothing like? No, head? but if I was down bad on my look, I would. Oh, shoot. I ain't gonna lie, you seem like the type of motherfucker that get fresh. Man, I'll be chilling. Look, I'm broke. Shoot, let me ask you this. Uh, uh the clothing wise, uh, that was the question I had. The clothing brands, what clothing brands are you fucking with? Oh, uh, I like cheap shit. I'm, I don't care how much money I got, how much money I make. I, it's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. So to me, I'm okay with going to H&M and getting a cold-ass shirt. Like, I'm okay with, you feel me, going to uh 
a Burlington. I'm okay with that Foreman Mills. I'm a, I'm okay with all of that. I feel like it's real stupid for people to buy $500 shoes and then be asking me for money. Like, you feel me? It, it's shit like that that be kind of ticking me. Like, you got all this designer and no money in your pocket. Stop fucking with nobody. Yeah, bro, stop playing with me, bro. Jay, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, Jay. Broke ass nigga. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, for sure. But nah, he got the fucking. No, nah, he got all that shit. My brother got, he broke he got the. Uh, what's that shit? They look like fucking sketchers. That's why I'm so pissed at them. Balenciagas. Balenciaga. Balenci's. Balenciagas. They I look like sketchers. They, the ones that look like sketchers? Oh, yeah, he weak. No, I got the sock ones. The, the sock ones that go up to your. You feel me? I, I don't know. Know. They, I barely wear them bitches. It is what it is. But like they cost me, no, they they cost me so much money. I'm so sick. I bought them fucking dumb ass shoes. Cause now they ain't worth shit. I don't want them. I don't know. If I ever get to that spot, I gotta really be at that spot. Like yeah. that's the whole spot. You gonna know I'm making money with, with like money, money, like longevity money. What up? Uh, longevity money. When when I pop out with some like. I ain't even gonna be like that. I want like tailor made shit. I ain't gonna be like the, the Louis V custom made with my name tailored on it. That's when you gonna know, bitch rich. You wanna you wanna know some shit that I love? What? Like and that's how you know know when I'm rich. It's not even gonna be on some fancy shit. It's gonna be on some shit when you on my clothes. You can't even find a tag on that shit. That's hard. Like, hey, you know, hey, that was the sheep. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> we got a sheep, nigga. Oh yeah, we got our silk. Yeah, from this person made this shit. That's what type of shit I wanna be on. Take some video. But uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. The one thing I'm really uh, just mad at though that I didn't get a chance to listen to your music. We did oh. kind of do this on the fly. I ain't gonna lie. You make music. Yeah, I make very good music. How'd you get into it? Uh, I started taking piano lessons when I was about three, four years old. So uh, that made me more musically inclined than most people, like quicker on. Uh, I got real events, so I was real events. So my piano teacher was like already like putting me in the class with the older kids like by the time i was four i was in a class with 10 year olds because i was like already reading sheet music like within like two weeks of learning piano mm -hmm. um and then that's how i feel in love with it you know i feel in love with the piano i love music it's just something i use to express myself i don't lie on my rest i'm 100 mm -hmm. percent true anything i talk about i'm going through where i seen where i've been in i don't talk about fake shit i don't kill niggas you won't ever hear me say i'm riding down the block with no 23 because i don't do that shit are like, you feel me? I talk about real shit. You grew up in Detroit? Uh, I was born and raised in Southwest until I was about eight. And because uh, I was in foster care, I told you. So I then I got put into a place to foster care. I was about eight, nine years old. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, bounce. I was in Richmond, Georgia. I was everywhere. They couldn't, like, I literally lived everywhere in Michigan. When would you get out of that? Um, I got fully adopted when I was about 13, 14. So that's like when I really like settle down, but it's kind of hard for me still. I think I still got a little trauma I got to work through from that because I have attachment issues now from that. I think the most like important thing is that you like, you got the attachment issue. You know what your issues are. I know what my issue is. I think at least you're not the one lying to yourself. I just had to, uh, one interview, nigga lied to himself so hard. He's like, nah, I think it's natural. Everybody didn't kill. Everybody didn't see somebody killed. No, that's not natural. <laughs> I didn't went through shit. I wouldn't even talk about that type of shit because it's really traumatic. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about shit like that. I, I like the I I support the hood. You feel me? But me personally, I am not in the streets. Mm -hmm. But I support it. You see, I I be around. Like you feel me? I be I around. Mean. I support it. But me, I stay in my lane and do my own thing. The one thing though, I would love I would like to say to you though, I'm telling you, you may not notice now. You may see me and never see me ever again. In life, but like, you're gonna get to a point where like the trauma is gonna be like so nothing to you that you're gonna be able to talk about it and it's gonna be light than a feather. And then when you get to that, you're going to be like, oh, this is what he's talking about. I let a lot of bygones be bygones already. Like, uh, one, thing, I though, one thing, though, one thing, though. Can you put it on the side so it don't oh, touch yeah. your neck? Oh, yeah, it's been touching my neck this whole time. All right, yeah, I let a, a lot of bygones be bygones. Like, I'm not mad at my mom. I kind of just, it is what it is with her. You mm -hmm. feel me? She is the way she is, and I can't fault her for it because of her upbringing, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, I don't blame her for it. I, I just don't want to be around it. Are you feel me? I, I've read all that misery. Maybe it is. You gotta stay over it. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah, that's that. Uh, let me ask you something, though, too. I got, like, uh, you go to college for business, right? Yeah. Let me ask you this. A business question. So, in my mind, it's two type of entrepreneurs, two type of hustlers, two type of whatever you want to call it. It's the Ford, which Ford, I think, 
and when I was in school, when I was in high school, I looked this stuff up and it made sense. I, I ain't been in high school in like five, six years, so it made change. But basically, Ford, you got the Ford Hustler, which is sales at a lower price, lower quality. But how many Fords do you see on the road? A lot of people got Fords. And then you got the Bugatti entrepreneur. How many Bugattis do you see on the road? But how much does a Bugatti cost? And then you got to think, quality how much are they quantity. actually selling? So back in high school, I realized Ford made more money than Bugatti. Because who the fuck buys a Bugatti? Even the rich people that sell the Bugattis, they don't buy a Bugatti. Because they know that's a stupid ass investment. They know it's a scam. Exactly. So which hustler do you think you are? Are you the type to sell for higher price, but not that much? Or are you the type to sell more at a lower price? Or at a lower price. I like quality over quantity, bro. That's always the name of the game. See, when you say that, you said there's more Fords. Of course there's more Fords. People can't afford the Bugatti. You feel me? They can't afford that, motherfucker. And if they could, they would have them. I'm telling you, Andrew Tate loves his fucking Bugatti. That's all that nigga talk about. He got three fucking Bugattis, bro. So I see the way she do that. <laughs> like, you feel me? Three Bugattis, bro. So, um, honestly, bro, I feel like I'm a little bit of both. It depends on what situation I'm in. If I have it, of course I'll be a Bugatti. Feel me? So, but when you have money like that, you ain't even. I'm not talking about from the consumer point of view. Oh. I'm talking about from the producer point, from the entrepreneur. Because I take you as an entrepreneur. You said business. So I think, really, you're going to go into it as a business. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. The more money you make, the less you're thinking about money. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it depends on what position I'm in. Of course, if I'm fucked up, I'm a Ford. But if I have money, I'm on that Bugatti tip because it doesn't matter. I got you. I'm talking about, like, let me tell you this. I was selling candy at a young age, right? So in the eye of the choice, up the price, not sell as many. Keep the price the same. Sell more, but gotta hustle more and make more money. Oh yeah, I uh up the price and not sell some more. That makes more fucking sense. Why? Okay. Look, this is again. You said the forty-eight law of the power. You know, what does it say in there? What's the law? I think it's law ten or law eleven. If I'm not uh confused, he says. You know more than me. Make people, <laughs> make people work for you. You feel me? Make people do all the work for you, and then take all the credit. <laughs> you know you seem smart. Let y'all yeah. rappers go out here and make all that money. Get that money, that's that Get all that money to me. So then I see. But then let me ask you this though too. We did talk about it a little bit, but I just want to talk about this as a common like thinking process. Cause I feel like, especially I feel like growing up traumatic like you grew up, and I feel like growing up in Detroit, period. I feel like street life is somewhere in there. Yeah. So I want to ask, which one do you think has it harder? The common working man or the uh, street life criminal. Of course, the street life criminal, but they put themselves in that position. The common working man, I say they, they, they. It depends on what field. The common working man has struggles, but does not have the struggles a street street nigga would have, a street man would have. You feel me? But because if you look at it, he's coming home to a guaranteed paycheck. You feel me? And he's okay with his little nine to five. He got it budgeted out. He okay with it. You feel me? Whereas the street hustler is. It's up and downs with the game. You feel me? The game going to throw you different loopholes. So you got to be able to catch that and keep moving with it. Because one day you might be up. And the next day you might not make shit. You feel me? So it's like one month you can have 100000 Something traumatic happened. You got to put give all this money. You feel me? And be fucked up. But it's all the game, bro. So I feel like a street, I got more respect for the streets for that. Because they willing to uh, take risks. They willing to gamble with it. A uh, working man ain't going to gamble with it. He can't lose that job. That's his bread and butter. He ain't, you feel me? He ain't risking it. But a street man, he gonna risk it. I ain't gonna lie. I got the exact opposite perspective. Really just because, you know, our culture, we glorify Scarface, Godfather. We glorify, you know, shit, you party. The bitches, they gonna love the bullshit. They gonna love the street nigga. Oh, it's scamming ass. They gonna love that shit. Bro. Get your ass. Why? But you gotta understand. I, that's what I think. I think that the street, like, the culture thrives around the street, dude. But I think the common man has it a little bit harder because I feel like this is like some old shit. What are you talking about? Female wise, of course. But Female not wise. really. Not really because grown women ain't gonna, you feel me? This is the thing. The streets have little girls that are grown. Let me get there. Hold on. Come the, the girls in the streets that chasing these 
are little girls. Really, they really are. Name any anybody who fuck with street dudes who have the maturity of a grown woman. For real. For this real, my opinion. bro. That's my opinion. I think that every woman never forgets and never loses that taste for the bad boy. <laughs> Do you think they ever look at your old teachers? Look at anything like when I was in fucking school, anything they never lose their taste for that little bad boy. See, look, you smiling because you know they do they ever lose the taste for the bad boy? I'm not gonna lie, I done did some shit to bitches and they still fuck with me because I did it. I feel like it was some like <laughs> terrible shit too. Like they be like, oh, she disrespectful. I like that. Like you feel me? And I'm just thinking my head like, damn, horse, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true though. Everybody got taste for a bad boy. I feel like that's I'm attracted to white women, right? That's my preference, and I feel like they only fuck with me because they see the little roughness in me. You know what they like? And I swear that's to God, that's what I'm saying. I swear to God, they like, oh yeah, she gonna fuck shit on me. Like, I swear to God. that's what I'm saying. Look, I'm saying they are. You over here trying to preach some shit? You ain't living. Oh no, they like the they like grown that. women like the common man. No, 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 no. Grown women do. I'm not saying that like they're, they'll go to the common dude, but they security. don't. Yeah, security. For security. The same reason they keep that nigga, bro. If this be seeing me, bro, I'm going to get up and beat his ass, bro. No cat, bro, bro. Meaning, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Post up, <laughs> bitch. Nah, I'm a pest control specialist. If you just stay still, they good. All right, but then other than that, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, what type of kid were you growing up? You a nerd or you a shy kid or you a loud Man, kid? Man, You seemed like you was a goof, goofball. A goofball? You was like, no, college. I was like an all A student, very quiet. Um, I was really like, yeah, I was a lame growing up for real. I'll keep it a honey. Like, I wasn't like an all A computer nerd. I was building computers when I was like 10 and shit like that. So I wasn't really into what everybody else was into. Are you feeling me? Yeah, I got you. And then, um, but then I was also bad too, cause you gotta know. Once they took me out the hood, that's what kind of when that it started me being a nerd. But when I was in the hood, bro, I was bad as fuck. You couldn't tell me shit. I was I, out here being a fucking baby kid. You know. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I got like the exact same fucking opposite effect. I don't know why. When I was in there, everything was cool. It was just so fucking cool. And then I go out there, it's like weird. I think it's like it's more testing, and it's like it's not a lot of testing. And poverty. And poverty, I don't think it's a lot of testing. It's like, hey, you know, like, it's definitely gonna happen. A show. A shit show. But I feel like out there, like, they don't see murders. They don't know what's gonna happen. No, but they wanna be. This is the fucked up part. Everybody in the suburbs wanna be in the hood, and everybody in the hood wanna be in the suburbs, and it's fucked up. Cause it's like, I see a kid from the fucking hood who wanna, like, live in the you suburbs. Who, who wanna live in the suburbs, you feel me? Want that life, whereas the kid in the suburbs wanna be a street nigga. They want to be game bangers. They want it, but they don't even know what it really come with. So I don't know. I kind of be telling them, like, bro, your white ass is not going to make it a day in the fucking hood. The way they going to do you, <laughs> the way they going to do your ass, it ain't even going to be worth it. It ain't even going to be worth it. You going to come back crying. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I'm like, I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm moving with these days? I'm moving with, like, so much wisdom these days. Like, they just chilling. And me, I'm just letting shit, like, play how it is. Like, the young going to want to be the old. The old going to want to be the young. The niggas in the suburbs gonna want to be like the nigga. And you know what I really noticed that? What? I noticed that with the music. When I live in Detroit, I always listen to Eminem, Big Sean. I didn't even listen to Ice Wave P. Like I heard, I heard of them because I lived in it, and I heard of them. I was scared. I heard Team Eastside. I was like, Nah, I heard. Yeah, like, they got the they got shot up in the club. Crazy. I was we like, in What? The suburbs, like niggas say, hey, looking at me. Yeah, where we at? What? Where you at? Where you at? Bitch, we in the suburbs banging that shit. And what? So they actually shoot up mad dudes and stuff. Like, 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 these normal ass niggas, bro. <laughs> but then you, you go like, to the suburbs. Cool. But they cool. Like, you feel me? So, like, look, I'll post up with niggas. People in the suburbs calling me like. Uh, let me ask you this, though. Let's get a little bit dramatic. Uh, let me a time that you were the most happiest in your life. The most happiest when I was with my ex. I love that girl. I was so happy. I'm so sick that they played it like that. Well, she played it like, I don't know. There's a lot of manipulation and weird shit going on. So I'm glad I got out of that. But I really miss that girl. I miss that girl with my whole heart. You seem toxic. I am very. 
Like, I just, I miss her so much. Like, you don't understand. Like, that was really my bae for real. Like, that was really, like, I don't really love females. I love that girl. Like, I really love that girl. And it's like, it is hurt me. Like, to this day, I'm so hurt. Let me ask you this. Can you ever marry somebody if you were not their deepest first love? Yeah. How? How would they that work? They fucking with me now, bitch. You see that ring on the finger? Fuck. I for sure I got you. Stop it. Me, I'm like the exact. I'm opposite in that shit. Once I got that bitch, I got that bitch. Nigga, <laughs> 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 since I bite that neck, what if I got? It was over, nigga. I don't give a fuck. As soon as I my lit ass coming to the picture, and then I like it. I like it a little bit because as soon as after me, they choose some lame nigga. Is he the lame oh, nigga? Oh yeah. Well, no. If after they life me. ain't turn, I'ma like turn over like, oh yeah, I was just with, yeah, I was just with, yeah, I was just with Deontay so Banks. My, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I was just, we was just chilling. No, no, like, uh, I feel like my ex, James. my ex, my ex, like, I feel like, I don't know, uh, she turned up on me for sure. Shorty doing her thing right now. So I Damn. can't be too mad. No, I can't be too mad because of what she had to do to get in that position. So it's like. She have to suck dick to get in position? Damn. Damn, I ain't say that. Hey, I ain't say that. I ain't say that, bro. You gonna have them niggas <laughs> ready to kill me. They gonna be like bad, she bad, was bad, on bad, that bad. man. I ain't say no shit like that. Um, but I'm just saying she had to do a little, you feel me? A little certain shit to get to where what she doing. So I kind of don't respect her for it. Like, you feel me? Cause it's like, damn, you got bitches out here who really working their ass off and you just Segue. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I didn't down the question. Is a uh I don't think I already down the question. No, I didn't. Line. <laughs> but now, nah, me and my brother, we was talking about it. We was talking about, we was really talking about that one girl uh, who married one of the Migos, Quavo or who gives a fuck, Sweet, Sweetie. Sweetie ain't married that nigga. But she fucked him. She sucked that dick. She sucked, she sucked a lot of niggas' dicks, though. And that, she was with Kalani. So that's that what I'm really saying. Know. Do you think that, do you respect the women that suck a dick to get where they got to no, go? not at all. Okay. Because I feel like there is many ways to make a million dollars and selling your pussy is not one. Because, like, imagine this. I have a coochie. If I really, and I know y'all niggas sitting here like, oh, no, 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 man, these niggas going. These niggas like that. They weird. So, um, uh, if I really was, like, down bad and needed to, I could go sell some coochie. And would I ever do that? No. Because I have morals. I feel integrity. I don't want that to have to come down, trickle down to my kids. That shit is real. Your body is your temple. So, uh, aura, you have a sex aura, right? It's down here. And if you're constantly having sex, you're constantly getting touched by people, and they have demons or they have shit attached to them, that's definitely hitting your body. It's, it's in there. Like, Segue to two things. You full on lesbian, right? Yes. And then uh, just like some, like, just like a gay person thing, not yeah. been thing. Like, it's a coming out moment. Like, oh, I was uh, always dressing like a boy. That wasn't something like I just like started doing. It was like in third grade, word to me, anybody who went to school with me. I've been in, I had a phase where I was a girl though. Like, you know how people have the opposite phase where they are stuck? No, I had a phase where I was a girl. I didn't like it. Third day. Didn't like it. Like, I had a boyfriend and everything. Swear to God. And I was like, nope, not for me. Yep. Because I feel like I'm too, I'm a little too dominant for men. Like, you feel me? Because I'm not about to keep fighting with you. Like, I'm not going to lie. Because, like, I'm not like always, oh, I'm a always right. You feel me? But you're not going to tell me, like, I can't be manipulated. I'm really, like, up here. Makes some sense. It makes sense to me. You a lesbian? I take your word for it. I'm not a lesbian. I don't give a fuck. Uh -huh. But then, basically, I'm going to ask you this. Is this still being a lesbian? Because this shit don't count to me. In my mind, in my straight mind, this shit don't make sense. How are you saying you gay when you using a dildo? That's just a dick. Like, that's a dick. You like dick, god damn it. That's oh, like saying, no, no. Oh, that's like saying you straight. I make it make sense, god damn it. Like, that's like a straight dude saying, hey, oh, no, I'm straight. I just like dildos. I'm straight, though. I just like dildos. Okay, this is the thing. When bitches like, oh, they gay and they trying to get fucked with a strap, Everybody's need a little penetration. Penetration. I don't. I don't like that shit. But some females that don't like that shit. You feel me? Um. Yeah, I be feeling like they low key sneak nigga. Like I already had that, but it be <laughs> it be you. in the moment. It be in the moment. Like fuck it, she gonna let me fuck her. Cool. Like I don't give a fuck. But then I do be thinking about it after, like that post nut clarity after they done with giving me head and shit. I be like, hold on. Cause you feel me? They really be like a nigga, so I don't be paying enough. That's what I be thinking. I be thinking. At least I'm I mean, right. I look like a boy, bro. So if you attract, you like niggas. They literally like niggas, bro. Thank you. It you like niggas. Me. Like when a bitch trying to be gay, they come to studs. Swear to God. Oh, I want to be gay this month. Let me go get a stud, cause that's the close thing to a nigga. Shit, wow. But yeah, I was right. All right, all right. Why are we talking on the freak shit?
Uh, freaky ass Diddy. Thoughts on him? Freaky ass Diddy. The freak call. Ah, fuck. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? Ah, fuck. I go to Diddy party. I go to the Diddy party. I feel like they like me. Nah. I feel like they spent some money. They into some freaky shit. He seen, no, you know what type of weird Diddy is? I think he fucks studs. I think that he into that. That's the, no, no, no. It's the, it's the, like, oh, I know this, not what you like, but I'm going to make you do this. And... Yeah, um, honestly, as long as he don't drug me, I'm going. Like, I ain't going to lie, Diddy. I'll fuck. You seem good. I don't really like dick, but I feel like you let me fuck you. So it's like, I feel like if I like, I don't feel like when I say fuck. Huh? It's good right there. It's good right when there. When I say fuck, I don't mean he's fucking me. I feel I'm I'm gonna bend him over and fuck him. So I feel like Diddy into that shit. So like, I do it. I'm down with it. Whatever he on, I'm on. All right. You don't think like you think he should be going to jail for it? For being a freak. That's the whole thing that don't make sense to me. I really don't think Diddy should get that much time. Okay. Well, we don't know what they got going on. Nah, really? nigga, I think some of them niggas just gay, nigga. I don't, fuck all that. He abused me and shit. Nah, nah nigga. man, you was down for the, you was at the party. Why would you at the party? Exactly. You knew how. Nah, you was there. You knew, hold on, because Calabasas talk. I've been to Calabasas. I know some people. They talk. Everybody gonna know everything. Mm -hmm. Like, feel me? Dude, they know how this nigga get down already. Everybody know. Mm -hmm. You knew what it was before you came. Why you acting like that? Like, I know if I go to the Diddy party with respect. I'm gonna have uh, make sure my cookie shave is that time. I got you. I ain't gonna lie. It was the uh, one mm -hmm. thing though. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's 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 real. I think them niggas gay. I think them yeah, niggas I like think that. Niggas gay. Like there's no way. Like I I think. Niggas, hey, I love the gay niggas too. Gay niggas, y'all cool. You know who I be thinking gay? I got a gay brother. I fuck with y'all. You know what I think? I'm not gay. When niggas want to sit on the block all day with each other, I think that shit a little fruity. I ain't gonna lie, I'm one of them niggas. Like, I'll be with my niggas like hard. How's that gay? <laughs> How's that gay? I'll be with my niggas hard too, so I can't say nothing. But I say it, no, nah, I say it like how we just said it. I call them brothers. Like, yeah, if, I'm with my, if I'm with my family, I call them like real. Like, but I'm, I'm talking my about the niggas family. that are like spin they bitch to hang out with some niggas. I ain't with that. It's a hang. Like, that's, that's, yeah, that's a little gay, bro. That's a little sus. That's weird. That's a little like, oh, your bitch call me. No, I'm on the block. I'll hit you. You on the block making money? No, he on the block. You know, it's that one nigga that you gonna make run to the store, throw a couple dollars. That nigga, the store runner. Damn. That be the nigga who always trying to spin his bitch and be around niggas. Just say he around niggas. You feel me? That shit is wild. It's like snow bunnies outside. They did it to us. Fuck them. All right, so let me ask you this: When you meet new people, what do you look for? Uh, I look at like what I look for yeah. in them. Yeah. I don't so really go into things with expectations. That's kind of how you like end up disappointed. So, is this camera on? Nah, we're just doing it from just angle. All right. So, I have um, So, but how do you get to that uh, level of trust, though? I want to ask you. Level of trust? I don't trust no one. But you got Some people got to no. join this new family no. that you're making. No. That's how I see it. I don't trust no one. How do people yeah. get to the new families? Bro, have you... Okay, look. First off, Tupac own mama tried to set him up. Really? Tupac own mama tried to set him up. When? Go look at his interviews, bro. Go look at his interviews. He's serious. His whole fat, his whole, everyone around him tried to set him up. I don't trust no one. No one. I trust myself. I love, I, I trust you with this much. You feel me? You don't trust the family? No. Damn. I, the family I come from, bro, no. I'm talking about the new family. No. I trust them enough. I trust them to be they self. I trust them for their character they showed me. You got you. Does that ever get like tiresome? Huh? What What do you do when that gets tiresome? Because I tiresome? feel like that does get tiresome. Tiresome and what? To always on guard. Always on guard. I'm not always on guard. I just trust people for who they show me they is. Like if you you show me who you are, I trust you to be that person. Cause shit, if you've been with, if you shit, I feel like you've been shit. You've been doing it till for a minute. You know that making money is a social sport, so yeah. you need people. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. How do you? Move about. Uh, move about. I trust you for what you show me. Like you feel me? Like I just told you. Like I trust you, as far as I can throw you. My favorite song I made is uh, the song I made with Bodie James. I say that because uh, I was taught being real on that song, and I feel like that's the realest song I've ever made. Cause I like it goes like, "Tell me what we really on. Niggas wanna get me gone." I've been on this road. 
all alone. And during that time, bro, I really, was, niggas was really trying to get me gone. Like, it was more of a metaphor on top of, like, niggas trying to kill me. That's not what I meant. I meant niggas trying to get me. There was a situation going on, and I feel like it was played very poorly, and everyone played a hand in it to try to get me out of the situation. You sound like Drake right now. Like, no, <laughs> I really, like, I'm telling you, that's really how that situation went. It was a lot of snake shit going on behind my back. They tried to get me out of the situation, and they did what they needed to do, and they did it. Shoot. Call uh, Divide and Conquer. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. What was it? What was that? Like, curiosity. Uh, I'll say it was a little situation uh, where I was helping this artist get on, you feel me? Um, They seen it going in the right direction, tried to exit me out the situation so they could control the product, you feel me? Oh, I get you. And I feel like they did it, and they're manipulating the situation, and they're moving very wrong. And I see where that's going. Is it? I ain't gonna lie. Do you take part in the artist? Yes. Yeah. I take part. And damn near that whole operation even moving. Like if if I didn't do what I did, motherfuckers wouldn't be where they are. And I feel like I don't even want the credit. I just like want to the person I work with to be know that they they in the wrong room. And uh, Shit, I don't think they realize it. No, uh, we don't talk anymore because of the people around the situation that manipulated us being apart, trying to put us against, against each other, you feel me? Because they seem like, okay, they stay together, we not going to be able to, you feel me? We ain't going to be able to manipulate the product like we need to. They going to know now. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to just keep it 100. That person is not in the right room. I feel bad because I know what's about to happen because I've been around and I know how this game works for certain cultures, you feel me? And, um... I pray that person the best, and I just hope that they don't try to call me when shit goes the wrong way. For sure. I think the best you can even do in that situation is just move on. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm such a, I'm such a peace and let bygone be bygones type person. Like Kimbu Baba, Sway. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Yeah, I'm such like a. Not that's... me. I hold a grudge. I still got a grudge. This nigga stole my uh, stencil. You know the smelly pencils mm-hmm. from third grade. I hate that nigga. His yeah. name is Cole Kanan. I hate that little motherfucker. Let me ask you this. How do you think we're going to move forward? In life? In our culture, period. Because I feel like in our culture right now, this is what we got. You killed my brother. All right, look. I'm going to get my brothers. We're going to kill your brother. Oh, oh yeah. You killed my brother. Oh, now nah, we killing you your kill brother. You killed my brother. I feel like. If you kill my brother, I'm killing your family. We I'm going to start one by one. I'm going to pick off your little ones But first. now I got family. Everybody you kill got somebody that killed for them. That's why this cycle never ends. It's a terrible cycle we live in, but if you kill my brother, I'm going to have to kill you. So you just say, fuck it, we just going. No, no, it's not even that. I'm not going to do anything. I'm so trusted. Not like, not the actual killing part. I'm talking about the hurt, hurt. I'm talking about like hurt even people, even words. People. Yes. Even yes. verbal. It's very true. Because I've been in situations that I realized I can handle, I have handled more maturely and mm-hmm. more better. But because I was hurt at the time, I wasn't thinking logically. Because women are more controlled by their emotions. And that's where the woman in control is. Like, you feel me? I'm controlled by my emotions and I hate it. But it, it be what it is. Like, if I'm feeling that in the moment, then it's fuck you, bro. No cap. Like, if you show, if you hurt me, because I'm such a genuine person, if you hurt me, bro, I'm going to hurt you 10 times worse. But I'm going to do it so strategic. I'm not just going to, you feel me? I'm not going to sit here and talk shit. No. I'm going to make sure you. I'm gonna make sure you you hurt. That's something that's gonna scar you. I want you to hurt. You gonna hurt. I got you. It's fucked up, but it is what it is. But now, what if they just keep hurting you? They just keep hurting somebody. What do you mean by that? I'm telling you, if they keep hurting, if I feel like this this thing of hate going back and forth. Not hate. I wouldn't say that. Or hurt going back and forth. It's just crazy. And I think in the black community, we got it even worse. Shit, you know, you know firsthand, the parent is gonna hurt the child because. They was hurt as a kid. My grandma laughs at this shit to this day because my grandma, she didn't have time to raise, because she was out here making money. She didn't have time to raise my dad. So then guess what? What? My dad didn't know how to raise me. And then guess who he came back to? The grandma. So I was at, grew up at grandma house. Got to go to grandma. So she laughed at it. But now I'm saying, hurt, hurt, hurt. Right. I'm hurt you because I need this bag right now, baby. Hey, I'm gonna hurt you right now. Hey, fuck it. Hey, no. Yeah, fuck I, it. I don't think like that. I feel like uh, I don't want my kids to endure anything I went through. That's why I'm in college. That's why I'm trying to get my my bag right because my kids ain't gonna have to deal with shit I went through. They shouldn't even have to. You feel me? I don't want them to go for nothing. Have to ask people for nothing. You know. So shoot, fifty years from now, we all good as fuck. 
How you gonna spoil you gonna spoil your kids or you gonna let I'm them? gonna make them work for it. Of course I'm gonna help them, but I'm not gonna How the just... fuck that shit work? What do you mean? You said, Oh yeah, my kids gonna live good. We I'm no, gonna take gonna care of my good. kids. But look, no, they gonna live good within the means, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But I think what happens is let's say we millionaires, you feel me? When you just give, 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 give to your kid, they don't learn any responsibility. You seen the celebrity kids, they be fucking fooling. They be fooling, bro. Now, yeah, my kids gonna it. be fooling, no, motherfucker. No, no, no. I worked cool. hard, bitch. We was on a bike, bitch. We was on a bike. All that equipment, nigga. Nigga, you better stunt on them niggas. Like, oh, I, got, no. I got a 10 year old brother right now. He can't fucking stunt for the save his fucking life. I be trying to help that nigga so much. But I think he grew up so, like, I think this is what's gonna happen with my kids, too. They gonna grow up so natural with it. It's like, oh yeah, we're just riding in a Rolls Royce. It doesn't matter, Dad. Why you keep flexing? It doesn't mean anything. That no, this shit means some shit. Man, Stop you these talk to me, you fucking motherfucker. I That's work my like. ass off of this. But then I feel like every kid is gonna have the opposite. So I feel like with no, you, I feel, I feel like, like, like you, you probably still gonna have the opposite. No, I feel like I'm gonna have the opposite. Like when you make your kids work for it, like allowance and shit like that. Like you feel me? Work for it. I feel I like I'm gonna have the like, humble kids. You gonna have to stunt. I wanna stunt. Dad, just give mom. Just give. Like they gonna be terrorizing motherfuckers. I know my kids gonna be bad. They ain't too good. They gonna tear for sure, but terrorizing, but still educated and got a bag. That's all I want. But I want my daughters to stun on niggas. I want my, you feel me? I don't want my daughters to have to ask some niggas for shit. They you, need to be the nigga in the relationship. I ain't gonna lie, don't even take those uh, uh, disrespect. Uh, you be tricking me sometimes. I be thinking I'm talking to a nigga. I just say he a couple of times in this bitch. Yeah. Don't take no disrespect to it. I'm so sorry. All right, let me ask you this. Uh, would you be forever ashy? Or can't taste and can't smell. But forever, ash, nigga, you black. Nigga, we black too, nigga. Forever, Ash. I'm talking about fucking Dave Chappelle. I'm talking about white, nigga. I'm talking about white knuckles for the rest of your life. Or can't taste or smell. I don't know, because I like to eat. I like to eat, bro. I like to eat, man. Um, I love to eat, bro. So. I really, and I like pussy. I like the taste of pussy. So it's like, I don't know. I never endure it. Like, what does it taste like? Pussy? <laughs> yeah, I okay. never endure it. Like yeah. me, I say that shit for like uh, my wife. I'm not giving that to you sluts. Like, that's how I think Yo, about it. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not doing oh, that no, shit. Oh, no, I'll be practicing on these hoes for yeah. my wife. That's for me. But, okay, uh, but uh, like... t- pussy got like, it depends on a bitch and her pH balance. Like, I'm, I'm going to keep it on it. Like, if a girl, you gonna know when a girl drinking a, or eating a lot of fruit, it tastes a little sweet. Not just like, you feel me? Not like overly sweet, but it got a little hint of like, damn, this kind of got taste to it. But then you got coochie that don't taste like shit. And then you got coochie that's musty. I don't fuck with that. I had a musty coochie before. Mm-hmm. I'm never again. Never again. I was like, bitch, I... Like, you feel me? I think the same thing for you. All right, so I gotta get my fruit up, I think. Because... I girls, they say... Though, when they if, say- you, if you eat more fruit, do your nut come out fruit or sweeter? Nah, I, I gotta eat more fruit. I ain't gonna lie. Right now I'm water. Right now I'm nowhere. So like I, girls I, I, take my shit and they be like, "Oh, oh my goodness, it's such a relief. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't, like, it doesn't taste bad. It ta- they say it tastes like taste sour milk. milk. They say my like your shit gonna taste like sour milk when you're not doing right. Uh, like, but I'm a like I don't smoke, drink. Like I drink water. Like I got two big things of water. I ain't never taste milk. You give me some in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. Uh, Mayweather or Tyson? Mayweather or Tyson? Oh, why are you putting me in this position, bro? These are two greats. Mike Tyson sleeps with a lion, though, so I got to Or a tiger. I, I give it to Mike. I'm sorry. Mike, Mike, I love how down to earth he is. You that nigga me? retarded. You're not retarded. Don't do Mike. <laughs> that nigga's retarded. <laughs> nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be wrong with you. I'm going to be wrong with you. <laughs> Nick, Mayweather got that paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson fucked up his bag. No, 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 but hear me out. I say Tyson because I like how down to earth he is. He sleeps with a fucking lion. That's so cool to me. I don't care. A tiger. Today? Like, huh? Today? He, yeah, till this day, he has a tiger that he sleeps with. In bed. You don't I mean, think Mayweather can sleep with a tiger? No. I think he'd be like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Weird ass nigga. Uh, and I don't know. I like weird shit. I like weird people. So, yeah, I get along with Tyson more What's than that weird? I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little weird, too. What's that weird thing you want to do in your life? The weird thing? I want to marry a woman and have kids with them. I think that's very weird. How the fuck is that weird? And this generation is not weird, but like we at that generation, like being gay ain't nothing weird. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you said that, that shit like it was 1955. It's just like weird because it's like not of the normal. 
Like, you feel me? Like, you can't name too many people that you know that's like an IVF baby. Do you know what an IVF baby is? Nah. It's so when they take my egg and another female's egg and they get sperm and they shake it up and stick it up her. Mm. And then she gets pregnant and we have a lab baby. That's what that's called. Uh, nah, my weird. Way weird than your weird. Let me, let me shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird, but I don't care. Because I'm going to do it. All right. All right. Do you believe in zodiacs? Yes. Uh, she. What's your sign? Pisces. Pisces. All right. Cool. Yeah. What's the, What about your sign? Uh, I say Pisces are very intuitive. We are emotional. We like emotional thugs, though. Like I, I'll fuck you up and then cry about it. Cause why I had to? Why you make me do this to you? Like I just had to beat your ass. Literally, I've been in fights where I, I beat the girl ass, right? And then after I'm crying, and they like, fuck did you cry for? You just beat her ass. Why you see me? I'm like, because why she made me have to do that? I don't why like that. Do that. Why she made me have to do that to her, bro? I didn't want to fight this girl. All right, you coming back? All right, bet. Hey, you give me a bag of chips? All right, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, uh, voting wise, I'm talking to, so this is why, like, you see my shit. Like, I upgraded my equipment, I upgraded my whole little setup and everything like a motherfucker just because I start fucking with the politicians. Like the sheriff, the lady that runs all the police officers in Washington County, I know her, and we did interviews with her, and we did interviews with the district attorney, the dude that runs the prosecuting office that be sending niggas to jail. I know him, and then it's just that shit is like really important to me. Do you think you should vote? Yes, I and think we should vote. Why? Because I feel like that dictates a lot of things that happen in our city and in our country. If we choose the wrong motherfucker, we might be into a war. Like, you feel me? So you want to make sure that you know everything and you're educated before you vote and you're not just going off of what you see on the internet. I feel like that's very, very true the things you got to do background searches on. Okay. 